1960 Rover 80, 2.3 litre petrol, manual gearbox this one, two-tone green over green, it's got a certain charm about it this one, very very pretty looking car, a very usable reliable classic this, 2.3 litre petrol engine, right bodywork wise we're going to start off at the bonnet work our way around the car, onto the interior, we'll then go for an engine start up, straight up the bonnet there, you can see your emblems on the front are all okay. Some very, very light pitting in the chrome trim as you come up, but all in all, very presentable. Nice and straight down both sides. The odd little mark in the paint, few little bubbles here and there, and a little bit of paint cracking down the centre of the bonnet where the chrome trim is, and a few little stone chips here and there. Paintwork itself, all in all, very, very presentable. There's a few little bits in it, like I say, here and there. It's not a concourse winner, but it certainly is a good shop to show car this one that's what we like to call them very very usable and enjoyable classic car no major corrosion across the scuttle we're going to come up and around this around the windscreen nice and slow have a good look at that come back down the bonnet we're going to nip up the right hand side and have a look at the scuttle on the right all nice and tidy there like i say the odd light mark in the paintwork here and there but overall very very presentable and usable a few bird poo marks on the roof that want to machine polish out back down the right hand side as we come down that lovely big grill all in all nice and straight there's a few little marks here and there on the grill and the chrome work itself a little bit pitted but it's from 1960 around the headlamp bezels are all okay down the lower half no signs of any corrosion down the lower half all the lenses are nice and clear chrome trims all intact some heavier pitting to the front bumper across the whole bumper the overriders uh, I've seemed to fare a little bit better than the actual bumper itself, but again, no major corrosion below the lights there. Mechanically as well on the button, this one, the engine's lovely. As we come down the right-hand side front wing where the two-tone is, where you've got different colours along the chrome trim, which is fairly standard. A few little bubbles in the top half and bits and pieces in the paint on the wing top on the right-hand side. The wing itself, we're going to go nice and slow around that arch. All in all, seems to be nice and solid. When you put your hand behind it there, you're greeted with a nice sharp metal lip. We'll do a nice bit of dodgy camera work so you can have a good look at that arch tip there. Rest of the wing's all okay. A few marks here and there in the paint, but nice and straight, nice and presentable. A little bit of a car park and dent at the top of the wing there on the right-hand side. Chrome hubcaps all the way around with the green steel wheels behind. All in all, in good condition. Nice and level across the lower half, no big blebs on the bottoms of the doors. A few stone chips here and there, and the odd mark in the paintwork. Again, as you come down the driver's door, a few touch-ins on the top half. Paint is a little bit flat in places on the top half. Up onto the roof, like I say, nice and straight across the roof. There's a few touch-ins and the odd bird poo mark across the roof, but no big dings or dents or nasty signs of corrosion. We'll come back down this rear quarter now and around the rear arch nice and slowly. A bit more dodgy camera work, we'll get into that lip there. Once again, you put your hand in, it's nice and solid all the way around. You can pull on it, there's no bits flaking off in your hand. Again, a few little marks in the wing itself, little crazes in the paint. But again, you know, a couple of steps back, you hardly notice any of that. It is a very, very straight, honest looking rover, this one. Up the wing top, nice and straight. Again, a few little touch-ins here and there. No signs of major corrosion at all across the rear windscreen. As we come down the wing top, down onto the rear lights, they're all okay. Some heavier pitting across the boot, number plate light and handle. Again, a little bit of pitting there. The rear bumper itself, some lighter pitting on the corners, but no nasty major dents. Again, very presentable. As we come round down the left-hand side, no major marks around the fuel filler cap. No nastiness on the lower half of the splitter. Uh, the valance, sorry, I apologise about that. On the valance. Around this rear arch, a few little stone chips here and there. And again, nice and presentable, nice and straight. Bit of a burn through of the paint on the bottom edge there. And again, you put your hand behind it. It's nice and sharp all the way round. As we went our way down the left-hand side of the car onto the passenger rear door, a few little touch-ins on the top half and some pitting on the handle, but no big major dings or dents. Again, nice and level, 
down the lower half section all the chrome trims intact no bits hanging off anywhere all nice and straight across the lower half apart from the odd bit bits in the paint so a little bubbles bits of dust and stuff in the paint and a few little touch-ins on the top half again onto that left hand front wing once again nice and sharp all the way around we'll do some dodgy camera work so you can have a good look at that arch dip there not had a quick toss over which is nice as well a nice level down the left hand side good color combination this one very very pretty car coming back round as well at long last on to the interior now again you've got the two-tone green door card itself nice and straight the wood's a little bit flat come away a little bit on this corner on the driver's side but it was never really really shiny it's not like a rolls royce where it's been lacquered it's all okay door cards all intact the handle's not hanging off a little bit of sag to the cloth section which is pretty standard it's from 1960 you do expect it and it does want this rubber door steel just gluing back on just a little you know a couple of hours work here and there just to square it up on silly little things like that the driver's seat as well that lovely big front bench is lovely and soft when you sit on it it's not going to crack we've got a little tear in the front section there this is the right hand side there is some cracking in it but it's the right amount of wear for the year the mileage of the car it certainly smells good in here as well armrest is all functional as it should no cracking in that when you fold it up and down it's not sticking to the rest of the backrest dashboard's all nice and straight across the top half the wood's all good across the dashboard we've got no cracking there the dials are all crack free no problems with that there the steering wheel showing a little bit of wear but again the right amount of wear for the year and the mileage Headlining seems to be nice and clean and just start to come down a tiny, tiny bit there. If I didn't point that out, you wouldn't notice it. Suicide doors on this one. Again, rear door on the right-hand side. Lovely and tidy. No problems with that again. Hasn't been over-restored, hasn't it? It's not brand new. It's nice and original. No rips or tears in that at all. Chrome's good. Armrests all nice and straight. Across the back of the seat there, you can see the pavement has come away a little bit, but it's not going to fall apart. You can sit on it with confidence. Nice and tidy across the back bench. I would say at some point this leather's been painted because the armrest section seems to be a different colour. You can definitely tell it's been painted, but it hasn't had a bad job. Again, when you sit on it, it's not going to rip and fall apart. All nice and usable in there. The back of the front seat's all nice and straight as well. We'll go into the boot now into the boot again nice and easy to open spare wheels there there's a jack there as well all nice and usable in the boot into the rear now left hand side again door card itself all nice and tidy on the door card all nice and straight on there seat from the left hand side all okay all nice and usable onto the front left hand side door card all nice and tidy again the seat itself no rips or tears a few marks in the middle where it's sort of been touched in you can't see that but again not a bad job we've seen a lot worse all nice and straight a very very usable 1960s rover this one it really is i will point out another thing when i noticed when i opened the bonnet before it wants a new lever on the bonnet catch you can see there that the, the two little pins have sort of come away, but it's perfectly usable. It's nice and easy to pull, so you're not straining to pull it anyway. 2.3 litre petrol engine. You really know where it is. It is, isn't it? Right, onto the bonnet hatch there. All nice and light, opens as it should. Have a good look in those inner wings. You've got the starting handle there, lovely and tidy in this one. Really, really presentable in there. James is going to fire it up for us now. Firing straight into life there. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is definitely running. No hesitation, no knocks, no clonks, no rattles at all from that. Engine's absolutely lovely on this one. Really, really is. Got no issues at all with that. Ticking over lovely and happy. And there you have it. The 1960 Rover 80. 2.3 litre petrol. Manual gearbox. Two-tone green ready for the show season this one ready to enjoy